It's Friday afternoon at the Big Sky. Bob McGuire with you here in the Q2 Weather Center. As you can see, cloudy sky is still hanging on a little bit. But hey, the temperature's starting to warm up. At 2 o'clock, we're at 52 degrees with a northwest wind at 16 miles per hour. Now, most of the precipitation that fell last night fell in eastern Montana. And those with the higher amounts, like Glasgow, Jordan, Cody, they actually had mostly snow moving in. Here in the Billings area, it was all rainfall that moved into our area last night. And our current temps are starting to rebound very nicely. 40s in the northeastern corner of the state, 40s and 50s just about everywhere else. Montana. Now you'll notice on the Doppler radar and satellite imagery, we did have a few scattered rain and snow showers last night. Now they have since kind of moved on and moved out of the area heading in towards the Dakotas, but we had a little snow in Cody, also up around Glasgow area. Northeastern Montana got anywhere from one to three inches of snow out of that. Now high pressure continues to move in as the rest of the day goes on. That'll help clear out the skies and start warming the temperatures up a little bit more. By Saturday, another low pressure cell starts moving into the west. It'll produce more rain and snow showers out there. We think by the time Saturday night gets here, it'll park over Yellowstone National Park. It'll give us kind of an upslope flow. The winds will be drawing into that low pressure cell. Could produce some rain showers in the Billings area, but more likely more heavier snow up in the Beartooth Mountains. Then by the time Sunday gets here, we'll see a little more wraparound moisture wrap into the Billings area, and that'll bring us some scattered rain showers and more heavier snow up in the mountains in south central Montana. Temperatures are going to be about 52 degrees next hour, 53 at 630, cooling down to the 30s in the morning and up to 49 degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News or you can check us out online at ktvq.com.